Hey, this is Bremster, and welcome to the first puzzle in this particular gas video. This one will cover from the 21st to the 25th of December. I've found that five days is a good day to e amount to edit together. It means that I'm not having to try and figure out to publish every day, which is a little bit tricky, particularly considering I'm trying to do that for other videos. It, it's just a good number. Um, so anyway, this is, puzzle is called hashtag no touch this by Philip Newman, which is a nice play on the rule set. And it came with the following message. Um, exciting news in the world of having new sauropods for Philip to include. The following paper, oh, okay, um, titled a new gigantic titanosaurian sauropod from the early late Cretaceous of Pata uh, Patagonos, Panag Panagos, Patagonis, uh, Neuroquin Province, Argentina, was made available online three days ago. There's a link that Philip has provided in the Discord message. I'm not going to provide it here, but if you go to the um, official gas... Um, uh, the official gas um, website below, he might have provided it there. If not on that, there'll be a link to the CTC community, which will have the where these are posted, um, and there'll be a link to it on the 21st of December 2023 post there. Um, then it's all about the rules. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a brand spanking new busting oration, busting gory titan or busting oration. Okay, um, so this is, um, as I said, it's called, now I'm switching to the puzzle for me, called um, for the 21st of December 2023, and it's called Hashtag No Touch This, which is funny because this is an anti-king puzzle often called Untouch. And the reason for that is, if I use this three as an example, um, no cell that touches a digit, so this three here, all of the cells, are the all of these cells um, touch that cell, so none of them can be three. And it's called um, often called anti-king because if this was a chess king, it could move to any of these cells. Um, I should also describe normal Sudoku rules because this is the first puzzle um, that I'm doing in, in this video. Normal Sudoku rules is you have to place the digits one to nine in every into every box, in every row, and in every column without repeats. Um, some puzzles may not be so, um, but um, that's what we're expecting most of these to be because these are genuinely approachable Sudoku. Um, on that, check out the GAS homepage and the GAS YouTube channel linked below. I will put timestamps and everything to puzzles below. Um, let's restart the puzzle and let's give this one a shot. So uh, let's start with the triples in box one. So one, two, three, four, seven, and eight go in those. There's a four looking up, so there's no four there. This is the four. There's a seven looking across. This is the eight. This is the seven. Uh, do I want to try this now? I need to put a one in one of those two. I uh, don't have three there's a four in one of those, five, six, seven, and a nine. There's a nine in one of those. That's not really helping. Actually, this triple, uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and eight. There's no eight in those. So this is the eight. This is the one. This is the two. The one looks up taking one out of there. So this is the one. This is the nine. This is the four. Uh, one, two, this is the three. Now I've got triples. Um, do I want to look at triples? I probably want to look at triples. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine go into those. That's not a six because of the untouched rule. That's not a five. That's not really helped much. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, and eight. This is not a two for multiple reasons. This is not an eight. This is not helping very much. Um, Let's see what I can do down here. I need to put a two in, which is in one of those two. Now these aren't, uh, I, can, um, I can only use normal Sudoku down here. So mm, uh, three could go in any of them. Five is right here. So this is a triple one, two, three, four, five, two, three, and six. There's no six here. And there's no two, why did I do this? This is two, three, and six, two, three, six. There is no six here and there is no two here. So that's what I get down to, but I don't have anything else to go on. So let's look at these triples. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There is no five in the middle. There's no five, no five at the top. So this is a five. This is a six, eight pair, which I am not seeing how to resolve. One, two, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, and seven. There's no three at the bottom. There's no four at the top. Okay, that's not helping me much. That doesn't help me much. Okay, so where am I looking? Everything else is a little less restricted. So I need to put one in one of those two. 
Uh, three is kind of open. Four is also down here, but it's in, uh, four. Four can't go in any of those, and that four looks down. So this is a four, this is a one. These are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Three, six, seven, and nine. There is no seven or nine there, so this is a three or a six. There's no three here because of that. There's no seven there. There's no nine there. This is three or six. That's... Yeah. Okay, what about here? Well, one isn't in any of those. Ah, one. One isn't in any of those because of this one, and that one knocks out that. So this is a one. Um, what else can I do? There's no nine here. So nine is in one of those two. Two, no, three, no. Oh, hang on. Two's not in those. No, three, no, four, five. What's, what are these? This is a triple. This is a two, three, nine triple, isn't it? Two, three, nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, two, three, nine. There's no two there. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These have seven and eight in them, but that's wide open. Okay, so it's something about this central box. So what, I can place one. Two is not in any of those or there. No. Nope. Four is in one of those two. Nine is not in those. No. Uh, ooh, I'm missing some sort of weird anti-king. I'm definitely missing an anti-king rule somewhere. So five can't be, oh, five. Five is not in any of those. That five sees that one, that five sees that one. So that's a five. So this is a nine, this is a six, this is a five. That takes six out of there. It takes nine out of there, which we, oh, this there's a three, six pair in this box. So this isn't three. This is a seven, this is a nine. Now seven is in one of those, but that seven says it's not there. So seven is in one of those two. So what is this column now? Two, one, two, three, Four, five, six, two, three, four, six. So this is from two, three, four, six. Now it can't be two and it can't be three. So this is four or six. This can't be two. So this is a three, four, six triple. This is a two. So this is three, four, six. And there must be a four in here. Um, oh, that six means that's the four. There's no four there. This is three or six. The four means that's seven, that's three, that's four. There's no seven there. There's a seven right in the middle of the grid. So this is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight, and nine. There's no eight there. So I've got a three, nine pair making that an eight. Can I resolve that any further? Yes, the nine looks up making that the three, that the nine. There's no nine there. The three makes that the six, which makes that the three, which makes that the six, which makes that the three, which makes that the two, that the six. The two looks up making that the three. This six makes that the eight and that the six. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, and seven. Use the seven in the middle to make that the two and that seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine goes in there. Um, the three looks up making that the eight and that the three and one, two, three, four, five, six, two and eight. And I'll use the eight again to make that two and that eight. And that is the correct solution. Five minutes, 45 seconds, which is a two party hat time. Great. Awesome. I did it. Woohoo! So that was no touch this, and I touched it, and I did it fast enough. So it was a quick touch. With consent. I touched it with consent. Um, because Philip asked us to solve the puzzle. It says right here, um, solve in 7.30 or less, or, or solve in certain time or less for two-party hat, solving this. So we were told to solve it. So it, it, it was hashtag no touch this, but we were told to solve it. So I did touch it. Um, okay, I'm not going to sign off because there'll be a puzzle tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow, which for you will be in about two seconds. One, zero. Okay, so this is the puzzle for the 22nd of December, 2023. And this is an outside sum Sudoku by Clover. Uh, this is the message that came with it. Outside of a dinosaur, a gas is a solver's best friend. Um, inside of a dinosaur, it's too dark to solve. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay. Um, in today's outside some gas. Okay. So the, the next up is the rules. And if you get a dinosaur today, you get a glow in the dark, uh, genodectors. So, okay, great. 
So switching to the puzzle. So the way the rules work. Um, so normal Sudoku rules, clues outside the grid give the sum of the first three digits in that row or column counting from the direction of the clue. So for instance, the sum of the rightmost three digits in row six equals 20. So this 20 clue means those sum to 20. This eight clue means those sum to eight. They're the way the rules work. I'm going to uh, restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I know that any um, three um, cells sum to eight. This has to be a one because um, if I don't use a one in a three cell eight clue, I'll end up with two, three, four, which is nine. This is a four, uh, four, so this needs a four. This is three, so this needs to be a five. Nine is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two by Sudoku. There must be a one in one of these. So uh, this is a one, three pair actually in order to get to eight. Um, but I must have a one in this as well. So this is the one, this is the three, this is the two. Um, okay. Uh, this must sum to 13, which is either nine, four or eight, five. And I can't use eight, five. So this is nine and four. This must sum to 12. Um, I could use, hang on, have I got this wrong? No, that's right. This must sum to 12, which is either 9, 3. I can't use 8, 4. I could use... I, I can't use 7, 5. So this is 9, 3. So this is 9 and 3. Now, there's two 8s in here, so I have to use a 1 in each of them. 1 and 5 means this is the 2. 1 and 3 means this is the 4. I can do the same down here. I have to use a 1 in each clue. 1 and 4 is 5. This is the 3. 1 and 2 is 3. This is the 5. Okay, this is the triple now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 9. There's no 6 there. There's no 9 there. Okay, this is wrong, or it's not wrong, but um, what are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 8, and 9. There's no 3 there. The 8, 9 pair makes this the 3. That makes this the 6. This is now the 7. 6 looks like making that the 8, that the 9, and that the 8. Um, 1 in one of those two, 2 in one of those two, 3 is right there. So this is the 1, and this is a 2, 6 pair. Um, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9. I'm not sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8. Okay, this 19 clue. These have to sum to 13. Um, so 9, 4, or 8, 5. They're not 9, 4. They are 8, 5, and I know the order. 8 and 5. I have to put a 6 in one of those. This is a 6, 7 pair, and this is an 8, 9 pair. So I know these these pairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, and nine, and the nine here makes that the four and that the nine. So these are one and two. This 19, these have to sum to 10. And they're not four, six, or one, nine. So they're two, eight, or three, seven, they're not three, seven. This is two, eight. And the two here makes this the eight and this the two. So this is the seven and this is the eight. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and nine, three, six, nine. There's a six there. There's a three, nine there. This is the six. This is the nine. This is the six. This is the three. The two looks down, making this the one and the two. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, no, three, five, and six. There's a five there. There's a five there. This is the five. This is the six. This is the three. Um, oh, the six makes that the two and that six. One, two, three, four, and seven. The four makes that the seven and that the four. I've got to put a one anywhere, two in one of those. Eight and nine. Well, eight is there. Nine is not in any of those. So nine, two, one. This column is missing a one. One, two, three, four, five, and seven. And there's already a invisible five. Um, this is not the eight anymore. So this is the eight. This is the six. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and nine go into those. So this is seven or nine. So it's seven, nine, seven. The seven makes that six and seven. The eight makes that nine and eight. I'm down to a single box. So one, need to put in a two which is going to go there, four and six. And that is the correct solution in four minutes and 11 seconds, which is well within the two hat time. So pretty happy with that one. Awesome. Maybe I'm getting better at this. Uh, I'm not sure. So as time of me recording this video in about 20 minutes, I'm going live on another gas stream. So we'll find out there, I suppose. Um, 
don't worry about that. That'll be well and truly gone by the time I publish this. So yeah, um, on to tomorrow's puzzle. It's the 23rd of December. Well, it's actually the 24th for me because I'm in the future when it comes to when these puzzles are released. And when you're seeing this video, it's probably going to be the 25th or the 26th of the December. So who knows what day it is? Anyway, this is the puzzle for the 23rd of December 2023. And it's a frame Sudoku by Bill Murphy. And it came with the following message. I think the future... I think the beautiful, that's not the message. The message is this, I hope. I think the beautiful thing about the holidays is that they're transient. People come and go. Every holiday we celebrate is different. Um, transitions, I think it's supposed to be traditions, uh, fade and new ones come into view. It's the second law of thermodynamics, uh, thermodynamics uh, um, bit all over again. I'm writing this while we do a love actually viewing over Zoom, and it's still such an awful problematic movie, but God, is it nice to do with friends. Merry Christmas from me, big love especially, um, if this time of year is difficult for you, and I'll see you on the other side. Unlike most of my Christmas presents, today's frame Sudoku is perfectly wrapped. Um, and then it goes into the um, the rules. Uh, there's also a bit, if you're looking to avoid math this time of year, who can blame you? The possible combinations are under this spoiler, and there's a spoiler for the possible combinations. I'm not going to look at that. If you get a d um, dinosaur, you get an Alan Rick Manadins. Uh, Manadins? An Alan Rick Manadins. Okay. Uh so, wow. Okay, so this is a frame Sudoku. So, uh, normal Sudoku rules apply, of course. I've already described that in this video. Clues outside the grid um, give the sum of the first three digits seen in that direction of the clue. So, these are all 15 cages. Wow, there's... Hmm. D hmm. Okay, so, stuff. Um, I've been playing a lot with 15 cages recently. Not relevant to this video. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, um, so, 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 I'm not actually sure how to start this one. Um, re honestly, that is very, very weird. So, I know that these sum to, wow. Yeah, so these sum to six. So, they're one, five, or two, four. So, I really don't know what to do here. How am I going to kick this off? So, both of these, right, both of these sum to 14. So, these are five, nine, and six, eight. So these are one, two, three, four, and seven. But I need, this is either going to be nine. If this is nine, that is six. And if this is six, this is nine. So this is six or nine. There's no five or eight there. So if there's no five there, there is no nine there. If there's no eight there, there's no six there. And it's going to be the same here. So this is a 6-9 pair. This is a 5-8 pair. Is that actually broken down? N no. Okay, but I can do the same here. I can absolutely do the same here. Because these, these are going to be 5-8. These are going to be 6-9. Is that right? That has to be right. Because it's, it's a mirror of... Uh, I want to do the logic again. But it's one, two, three. Actually, I'm not sure about that because these are going to have to be five, nine, and six, eight. So these are four, four, seven. Yeah, it's exactly the same. These are the six, nine. They're not. That these are the six, nine. These are the five, eight. It's exactly the same pattern. But this five makes this the eight, which makes this the five. These are six. So that's the nine. That's the six. This is eight. So that's the seven. And that's the four, which means this is the one, which means that's the five. Put five in one of those two. This is nine. So that is six. This is 13. So that is two. This is 11. So that is four. This is missing a three, which does work. So this is all lining up now. I have to put a one in one of those two. Um, this is one five. It better be one five nine. It is. This is one five nine. One five nine. There's no one there. Um, what can I do with the rest? These are uh, two, six, seven, which does work. There's no six or two. And this is three, four. It better be three, four, eight. And it is. There's no three there. There's no eight there. But that's not doing a lineup that I'm seeing clearly. But I will be able to do something here. But I'm not sure how. 
it's probably these boxes, I think, because these sum to 10, they're not 1, 9, they're not 2, 8, they're not 4, 6, so it's 3, 7. So this, if it's 4 and 3, that's 8. If it's 4 and 7, that would be 4. So this is 3, 8, 7. These are 1, 2, and 9, but except this is already, this is the 1, there's no one here, so that works, but this is six, so this is the nine, and this is the two. I'm sure I can do the same down here. Um, except I, can, no, uh, ooh, no, this is different. But I do have here, one, two, four, well, two and four is six, so it better be nine. One, three, six, and three and six is nine. Wait, that doesn't work, it's not six, it's three, five, which is eight, so it goes with seven. And these are one, I need a middle digit, which is six, and I need a high digit, which is eight. There's no one there, there's no six there, there's no three there, there's no five there, there's no two there, there's no four there. What's the low digit here? It's one or two. There's a low and a high here. There's a low and a high in here. There's a low and a medium in here. No, I'm not seeing the connection. This could... Mm. Four is in one of those two, so six is in one of those two. The low in here is one or two, but I'm not following. So these sum to 10, but I don't... I'm not seeing how this all connects. This sums to six. Oh, it's, and it's not one, five. So this is two, four, and I know the order. Four and two, which means this is eight. So this is not eight. Um, four and two means this isn't the four, this is the four. Um, this sums to seven. So one, six is possible. 2, 5 is not, 3, 4 is not. So this is 1 and 6. So this is the 6 and the 1. That makes this the 9. So this is the 6. This is the 7. This is the 4. 1 and 6 is 7. So this is the 8. This is the 5. The 8, of course, makes this the 1. This is not the 1. So if this is the 1, these need to sum to 14. Well, this isn't a 2 anymore. I've already got the low digit. This is the 9. I need the middle digit. Um, the seven means this is the three, this is the seven, the six means this is the eight, this is the six, the nine means this is the two, I now need the middle digit, uh, one, two, I'm putting a three and I need an, oops, a three and an eight because I need a high digit, the order is known because I've already got an eight in the column, one is the low digit, I've got a five so I need nine is the high digit and I can resolve that because I've already got a nine in column six, Two is the low digit, the high digit is seven. I've already got a seven in column four. One, uh, so in the column, I need three is the low digit and five is the middle. I've already got five and three. In the, here, well, this isn't the six, this is the six. Uh, this isn't the five, this is the five. In here, the low digit is a three, three and four, so I need eight. The eight turns around and makes this the three and this the eight. The low digit I need in here is a one. The high digit I need in here is a nine. The nine means this is the one, this is the nine. Uh, two and seven, which I can resolve by the seven directly above the two. The three means that's the four and that's the three. The five means that's the nine. This is the five, this is the one. This is now the two. Um, this is the six and that's the seven. And that is the correct solution in seven minutes and nine seconds. I think for someone who understands 15 in three pretty well that was not a great time uh, seven minutes is what i was aiming for i missed out by nine seconds um yeah i i didn't do great at that um understanding how they fed into these other cages um was definitely somewhere i fell down um, but i was able to use the entropy trick near the end um fairly comfortably so that, that helped me and I think sped me up a little because I wasn't really worrying about options. I was just playing with entropy at the end to resolve it, which is always good. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, why am I signing off? There'll be a video in like a couple of seconds for you.
Good morning, everyone. And I'm going to say Merry Christmas because as of me recording this, it's Christmas morning. Um, so this is a series of four puzzles because that's how I needed to spend my Christmas morning figuring out how to make that work. Um, and these are a set of four puzzles by Philip Newman. They've all got exactly the same title. So if you solve any of them, the solve counter in Sudoku Pad are all going to go up by one. So if you solve all four, then all four will get registered as a solve. So I'm assuming that was intentional um, so that anyone who solves all four puzzles will register as four solves on each puzzle. So if you look at the solve count, you can divide it by four, I suppose. I, I don't know how this is going to work. It, it, oh, talk about people coming up with really nice tools and then people coming up with ways of breaking those tools. It's, it's just... Arg. Um, and this is the sort of thing that causes Sven a lot of stress. There's other things in this puzzle, these puzzles that cause a lot of stress as well. And I was very tempted to just skip today's puzzles because today is going to be a problem. But so let's have a look at the message from Philip. It's Christmas Eve for most of you. My present to you, as mentioned in daily Sudoku discussion, is an extra long Clover video for Christmas. Okay, I, I don't know. Today's guess is a return of buy one, get three, except there's four. Um, this time you get four six by six puzzles, features some newish line variants. Um, I, I have noticed also that, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. Normal six by six Sudoku rules apply, and then there's the rules. If you get dinosaur today, you get a monkeying around Malbosaurus. So let's have a look at the first puzzle, which is, these are the 24th of December, 2023, and they're called Big Three Crossing the Streams, except there's four puzzles. Now the first one, this is listed as an anti-Renban, except this is the newest line constraint in it, and we haven't been calling them anti renban we've been calling them NABNA lines, because that's the person who created this, which is, to the best of my knowledge, Zetamath, that's what they were called, and everyone's been calling them NABNA until now. So is this a NABNA line, or is it an anti renban line, and are we trying to change the terminology that the person who came up with this came up with? I don't understand. Anyway, I'm not going to worry, I'm going to record my times, but at the in order to earn dinosaurs and hats, you have to add all your times together. I'm not going to try and add four times together. I'm not live on camera. I'm not going to bother. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. So with a three, you can never put a two or a four on this line. So um, this must have one, five, and six on it, but uh, the five and the six couldn't go together. So it must have one on the line. This is the one. This is a five or a six. With a two, you can never put a one or a three on the line. This must be four, six, because if I put a five, I couldn't put the other one. So this is the six and this is the four. Um, I have to put a one in one of those two. Um, by Sudoku. Uh, the six means this is the five. There is a five in one of those by Sudoku. There's a four in one of those by Sudoku. Now, um, there is a one in one of these by Sudoku. Um, now, on here, I can't put a five, but there was, okay, there was a five up here anyway. Um, I'm not as good at this as I would like to be, but that's why I do puzzles to learn. There's a four in one of those. It's going to be the trick here. So a three cell long line is either going to be all odd or all even, and this can't have a six on it. So if I, yeah, this is because if I do one, I skip the two, I put on a three. I oh no, I could go one, three, six, but I can't put six on this. So if I can't put six on this, five means I can't put four. I have to put three. I can't put two. I have to put one. This has to be one, three, five. This is one, three, five. There's no four on it um, because you cannot repeat lines. Yeah, cannot you cannot repeat digits. There, This is a one or a three. This is one, three, five. There's no three here. This is the three. This is the one. This is a one, five. This is one. This is four and six. I cannot put so this cannot be the four. This is the four. One, this is now a two, which means this is all even. These are three, one, two, three, and six. And I know the order because of that, six and three. These are two and five. They're two and five, but I can just write them in two and five. I cannot put one and three on this line. So these are from four, five, six, but I can't put five on the line. These are from four and six. I've got four, six, but this four makes this the six, this the four, this the four, this the six. Um, 
um, these, well, I can do the columns. This is one, this is two, this is three. Um, in here, I need to put three and five, and I've got a three in the column already, so they become resolved. These are one, two, and six. This is not the six. Um, actually, the five looks now making this the one, which makes this the two. This is the five. There's no two in those. I can't put six on the same line as a five. One, six. Um, now, the these are... Well, I could put four there, but what else could I put there? Because the column needs, well, I can't, the column needs two and four, and I can't put two on the line. This is five, this is uh, two, uh, four, this is two, this is five, and this is three, and two minutes 51. Okay. So that's the first one done. The second one, and this is another one where I have an issue, lower the contrast of these lines. Pencil marks on this are, I, I literally cannot read that. Now, I know it's a one but that is unreadable. You've got blue on dark purple with no contrast. Yeah, I'm going to restart the part. Uh, so the, the rules on this one, these are zipper lines. On each line, the digit in the middle cell is equal to the sum of the digits at the end of the line. So this this line is this, it's basically an arrow pointing out. But um, in zip, the reason it's a zipper line is zipper lines can get longer. Um, it's just in this puzzle, they don't. So, um, but this cell is the sum of those two. This cell is the sum of those two. That's the way it works. Restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. So we know these sum to six. Um, but that could be almost anything. This has to be higher than three, four, five, or six. So this has to be one, two, or three. That, bleh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Now there's a six, well, there's a five in this row. How is this going? Well, there's a one in one of these two. There's a six in one of these two, but I can't put a six here because this would have to be higher than six. So this is the six. These are one, four, and five. If this is a five, this is a one, that would work. Five is in one of those. If this is a five, this is a four. If this is a five, this is a one. If this is a five, this is a six. All of this seems to work. Four is in one of those two. This is a four, this is a five. All of this seems, well, this isn't the one. This is a four or a five. So this is a one or a two. So yeah, because there is a one over here. So this, there is a two in here. This could be a two if this is, oh no, this can't be the two. Because if this is a two, this is a one and that is broken. This is the two. Um, so this has to be, this is a four, that's a two. And then that's a two. This would be a four, one, two, four. Three is over here. If this is a three, this is a three, and then three is down here. If this is a three, this is a six, and this is a three, and three is down here. Five is in one of those two. So this is a four because these can't be five and these can't be five. So that's a four. There's no four here. This has to be high. Yeah, this has to. This is a pair, but this has to be the higher of the two. This is the five. This is the one. Could never have put one there. Why did I even think about that? Ugh. Right, yes, that was dumb of me. There's no four here anymore, so there's no one here anymore. So these are three, four, and five. So this is two, three, or four. If So... This is one, two, or three. But all of these are one, two, or three. This is... So this is three, four, or five. And it's not four, so this isn't two. So two is up here. So that means this is a two. So this is a three. This is a one. This is a three. Three and three is six. So this now, no, that's, I don't, ooh. This is a five now though. Yeah, this is a five. There's no five here. So if that's not, f f this is three, this is four, this is two, this is three, three and three is six. This is four to make the sum work. This is not four. This is one, this can't be one. 
So this is three, this is one, this is one, this is five. I'm really struggling with this one. Two, six, the one makes this the two, this is one and four, this is five and six. Three minutes, 46. I don't think I did great at that. I wouldn't want to do a large, pu larger puzzle with lines with this contrast. I, I just think it's, yeah, they're just ugly. Anyway, um, these ones, mini whispers. We've got a color for German whispers and the, the digits directly connected by a line must differ by at least two. Now, I've done some six by sixes and I thought the standard for whispers on six by six was digits had to differ by at least three because I'm pretty certain in the adventure series, whispers was three and six by six. So what these are is they're anti-consecutive lines, but they're being called mini whispers. I don't know what's going on. What I'm getting for Christmas is confusion <laughs> because we're calling Nabna lines anti-Renban, which is fine. That's kind of what they are. We're playing with the contrast and doing terrible coloring for zipper lines when there is a standard color for zipper lines. We're changing the color of whisper lines and then changing the value of them, calling them mini whispers when really what they are is anti-consecutive lines. I have no idea what's next. Like, I, I just don't know. Anyway, um, so adjacent digits must be differ by at least two, which basically means they're non-consecutive. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time, but let's give this a shot. Um, okay, what can I figure out about this? So two is in one of those, but it can't be next to the one. So this is the two. Three is up here, but that's fine. Um, six is down here. So I can't put a five down here. Um, I know five is up here, but that's not messing with anything. So this can't, so this is down to pairs because I can't put three or one on it. So it can't be one, it can't, well, actually, no. It must differ by at least two. Right, so it can't, it can't be one, two, or three because two is not different by at least two. So this is four, five, or six. So are they going to alternate high, low is the question. No, because this could be three. So this is three, four, or five, and it's not three, but yes, this is four or five. So these are all four, five, six, but these have to differ by at least two. So I can't put a five in them. This is the five. Okay, there's the trick. So these are one and five, which puts five down here because I can't put five there and I can't put five there. Okay, so this is not the five. This is four or six. Um, these are three and four. Okay, but this is the three, this is the four. Now, this, well, it's not five or six, basically. This, however, can't be two, three, or four. So it's one, five, or six, and it's not five. So this is one or six. This isn't four. So this is the six, this is the one, this is the five, this is the one. This now can't be two. So it's three, four, or five. This is not five or six. So it's two, three, or four. Oh, this can't be five because five is over here. Oh, actually, this five is looking up saying that's not the five. This is the five. Two and three are in these cells. So that's a two, three pair, which means that's the six. Four is in one of those two, but it's not next to five. That's the four. So this is a two or a three. Um, this can't be a three or a five. So it's one, two or six. That's not helping. What about this one? This can't be two, three, or four. So it's one, five, or six, and it's not one. So it's five or six. So this is the five. And this now can't be four, five, or six. So it's one, two, or three. This isn't the five. This is the five. This is two, three, or this is two or a three. So this is a one. One is in one of those two, but that's not it, I don't think. Oh, this is the six. This is the four. What are these two? These are two and three as well, which means this is the one. This is the four. This is the three. This is the two. This is the three. That's cool. So this isn't three, four, or five. So it's not the four. This is the four. This is the two. This is the six. This is the one. 
Um, the two looks up, meaning that's the three, that's the two, that's the six, that's the three, and that's the two. Three minutes, 20 seconds. So, yeah. That was really cool. I like that puzzle. The colouring is weird, the naming is weird, but the puzzles are excellent. Like, don't get me wrong, the puzzles are stunning. I'm just confused by the way they're being laid out. So the last one is called Crossing the Streams. They're all called Crossing the Streams. Why am I even doing this? By Philip, they're, they're all by Philip Newman, 6x6. This is a modular lines puzzle. So each line contains one digit equivalent to one mod 3. So one digit equivalent to 2 mod 3 and one digit equivalent to 0 mod 3. So one is from 1, 4, one is from 2, 5, and one is from 3, 6. Because 7, 8, 9 are dropped out of the puzzle. Um, so and the, re the if you divide 3 by 1 then one and four have a leftover of one. If you divide three by two, then uh, two and five have left a remainder of two. And if you divide three by, um, uh, three, by three, then three and six have a remainder of zero. Uh, so that's where the sets come from. And you can normally do it by, if you're doing entropy, then if you look at your numeric keypad, then if you go horizontally, one, two, three is low, four, five, six is medium, seven, eight, nine is high. But if you go vertically, one, four, seven, and I'm talking nine by nine here, but one, four, seven would be mod one, two, five, eight would be mod two, and three, six, nine would be mod three. And we're just dropping out the seven, eight, nine because this is a six by six. Okay, I'm going to restart the puzzle to get, uh, and let's give this a shot. So I cannot put four on this line. I cannot put four there. Okay, I cannot put... So what I know is I can't, if on a line with the three, I can't put a six. On a line with the two, I cannot put a five, but I've got to be able to do more than that. So I can't put three, well, actually this is a three because I have to put three here by Sudoku and I can't put it on a line with a six. So now I can't put six on this line and I can't put it there. So six is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. If Six is in one of those which means three is not in any of those or in any of those. This is a three because I can't put three on a line with the six. And I can't put three on a line with itself. So, and it can't go there by column. So this becomes a three. That's kind of cool. Um, this line, this line must have a three or a six on it. And because each one has one of each and I can't put a three or a six there. So this becomes the three because I can't put the six on it. That's really cool as well. So there must be a five on this to, because I can't put a two on it. This is interesting. Um, now, the, I have to put a one or a four on this line. So there's either a one there or a four there. This is an interesting way to look at it. I like this. Not sure how I'm going to use it yet. So three is in one of those two, but it's not on the line. So this is the three. This is the six. Six. I said six. This is now the five. So this can't be the two because then I'd have two of the one. So this is from one or four. So this is the one. This is the, no, this is the two. So this isn't from two, five or three, six. So this is from one, four. So it's the four. These are now two and five, which are the same modularity. So this is from three, six and it's the three. So this is now the four. So this is the two, five, this is, so this is the three, six, so it's the six. These are one and two, and I know the order, two and one. Um, these are one, two, three, five and six. But I can't put six on the line, that's the five, that's the six, that's not the six. So this is from one, four. Oh, the five makes this the two and this the five. This is the four, so this is the one. These are... One and five. This well, so one and five. This is a four. So this has to be from three six. So it's the six. This is a two. These are one and five, and I know the order. One and five. So these are two and four, and I know the order. Two and four, and this is the six, and that finishes the puzzle in two minutes thirty nine. That, in many ways, was the easiest of all of them. So if I do an approximate time sum up, two fifty one. So under three minutes, three forty six. So just under four. So that's about six and a half ish plus 320, so that's about a bit over 10, let's say about 10, and then 239, so let's say 12 and a half minutes, which would be, yeah, I'm not in the two hat time, but I'm definitely in the one hat time. So there you go, um, they're the puzzles. I, I really like them, I love the way that um, Philip is capable of coming up with, and again, too high a contrast, drop your contrast of your modularity lines, just 
<laughs> that hard. Um, I love the way that Philip can come up with four identical grids that are solvable with different constraints. I think that is absolutely stunning. And four good, four good puzzles. It's just, the puzzles are absolutely stunning. It's the usability. It matters. It really matters. Um, I actually took my glasses off for this one because I knew that I would be, uh, I would struggle with the contrast if I had my, if I had good quality vision with this one. It's really weird. Um, it, yeah. I will see you all tomorrow, which will be your Christmas Day puzzle and my Boxing Day puzzle, because this, I'm recording this Christmas morning um, before the chaos starts. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of travel in, on my day today, and the roads are going to be insane, and it's wet and stormy, and there's going to be, literally everyone is going to be on the roads, and yeah, it ew, it's going to be terrible. Thank you, everyone. Why am I signing off? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, and now we're rounding off this video with the December 25th, 2023 puzzle by Clover called Leaps and Bounds. Um, the message that came with this one. Merry Christmas, friends. Today's gas is a festive little classic Sudoku to give you plenty of time to pursue this year's secret Santa puzzles. I got mine, haven't looked at it yet. Um, I've looked at it, but I haven't tried to solve it yet. Um, or if you participate, uh, or if you participated enough time to refresh the channel repeatedly while waiting for your giftee to confirm receipt. I'm not doing that. Um, they'll get it. They get it or they didn't. I've stressed about the secret Santa enough in the past. I'm not going to do that again. The first year I participated in, this is Bremster rambling, by the way, the, the first year I participated in secret Santa, I stressed out over it and I'm really glad I did it. I got the best gift ever, but um, I actually framed it and I have it hanging on my wall, but I, um, but it, I just stressed out over it. That was a hundred percent me. And I've decided I'm just going to relax over it a bit more. I may not even confirm to my giftee who I am and what I set. Um, but I'm almost certainly going to feature the puzzle that I received on the channel. Um, if I can solve it, <laughs> if, um, uh, why not pay a quick visit to Gap today and check out the gifts for you too? Um, I'm terrible at pencil puzzles because so many of them I can't see. I've already explained this. Normal Sudoku rules apply and that's it. Okay, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a holly jolly Hongshangosaurus. Anyway, this is a classic Sudoku, so normal Sudoku rules apply. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So, um, ooh, I am really blind to how to start this. One is not in any of those, so one is pointing in here. Yeah, but that's not a restriction yet. Is this naked single time? Well, hang on. Two twos. Ooh, there's twos and threes galore. Ones, twos, and threes galore. Well, this is a one, which is, again, restricting one to here. Ah, this is a four, which is restricting four to there. This is a five, which is restricting five to there. There'll be a weird logic trick that I have not yet seen, I'm sure. Six is in one of those two, which means that is a six. Six is in one of those two, which means that is a six. Which means that's not the six, that is the six. And now six is in one of those three, which is not helping. This is a triple. One, two, three, seven, and eight. That's not a three. That's not a three. So that is a three, okay? Three, three, putting three in one of those two. This is a triple. This is a seven, eight, nine triple. So you've got your nine and a seven, eight pair, which is resolved, eight and seven. Cool. So that puts eight in one of those three. Huh. Well, seven and eight's not there. So this isn't a two because where is seven and eight in this row? So this is a seven or an eight. So that's your two. That's cool. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and nine. There's no nine there. So is it these quadruples now? Am I looking for a naked single? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are, this is three or four. So three, four, five, and six are these. 
So five is up here and five isn't there. This is the five. So this is the four. This is the six. This is the three. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight, nine. There's no two there. Six is in one of those two, but I already had that kind of. So up here, one, two, seven, eight. No, uh, and 1789. So 7 is in one of those two, which means that's a 7. This is your 8. This is your 7. This is your 9, and 9 comes out of those. So this is 1, 2, 3, 9, and the 3 resolves it. That's your 9. That's your 3. Now that puts 9 in one of those two. But this is two six now, and no, it's not two six, not at all. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, and seven. I'm going to do terribly on the time on this. I know it. Oh well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, eight, nine into those. There's no eight there. There's no nine there. There's a pair in this column. One, two, three, four, nine. So that's your four, that's your nine, which means that's not the nine, that's the nine, so that's the seven by pencil marks. This is a one-eight pair. So there's an eight down here. Oh, where's eight in, oh, the seven, of course, looks up, making this the eight. This is a triple, which is one, two, seven. There's no seven there. Everywhere's quads, and I'm not sure where I should be looking. This is a nine, so this is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. So this is a five, seven pair. No, wait, this is a five, eight pair, and this is the seven. I almost got that wrong. So the one, two pair means that's the seven. One, two, and four go into those. There must be a four. And one, two, and three into those, and there must be a three. So these are five, six, seven, and eight, aren't they? One, two, three, no. The seven here means this is the six and this is the seven. So that means this is the six. So this is five or eight? Yeah, this is five or eight. So what is the triple? One, four, five, and eight. So these are four, five, eight. There's no eight there. So these are three, four, five. So that's a three. This is a four, five, that's the four, that's the five, that's the eight, that's the five, that's the eight, that's the four. One, two, and five go into those, which is resolved, two and five, which takes two out of those and that one. This column has got too many digits in it. What's the double? That eight makes that the one, that the nine, that the eight. The one makes that the two. The nine makes that the one, that the nine. The one and the three make that the two. There's no two there. The one four makes this the three. The two makes this the one, this the two, which makes this the eight, this the two, which makes this the one, this the eight, and the one makes that the four and that the one. Six minutes, 21. I can't imagine that's a great time. No, I missed it by nearly a minute. I was 51 seconds too slow, but it is incredibly early on Boxing Day morning here. Am I in recovery? I will say I'm not recovering from Christmas Day because I'm still in cheer mode. So while I have slept, I have not slept enough and I am still post feast. So, and I shouldn't have feasted. Um, I didn't eat as much as everyone else, well, except for possibly my wife. Um, but oh boy, did um, I eat a lot more than I normally do. And uh, food coma is a thing. 
I hope everyone has had a really wonderful Christmas, or if I post this quick enough, having a really wonderful Christmas. Um, and if you're seeing this after the fact, had a really wonderful Christmas in 2023. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do, we'll see how, I was going to say, I'm not sure if I'm going to do six videos in the next one to round out 2023 as a series of gas videos and start 2024 fresh. Um, I'll see how I feel when I get there. Um, considering New Year's Eve is going to be a pretty full-on day for me, I may end up recording them on New Year's Day and then I'll have the six videos anyway and I'll just do it that way because it'll be clean. We'll see how it all goes. Um, uh, I'm kind of winging this and making it up as I go along. Thank you everyone for watching because this is the final puzzle in the video. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you do go and check out the gas homepage where there's a whole bunch of other um, things available, including and the gas... Um, uh, including um, other video solvers who you may prefer more um, and uh, make sure you subscribe to that channel as well I'm I've got an internal bet with myself running for how long it'll be before the genuinely approachable Sudoku channel which has been running like a month and a bit will overtake the number of subscribers I've got and I've been running nearly well two and a half years so <laughs> yeah we'll see how that one goes um, Thanks everyone for watching. Merry Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.